Yo, 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 this is Dorky Diggity Dave, and today we're talking about Act 6, the restrictions, 4 stars and 5 stars. It's another polarizing event in the MCOC community. I sure can't wait to give my objective approach, view, and opinion, because this always works out well. Learn a little sense. Take a lesson. Learn it all. Welcome back, guys. We're talking about this Act 6 restriction thing, and I know a lot of people are upset about this. And while I don't really agree with not having four stars in Act 6, um, and I did want to use them because I did just recently grind for Heimdall, and that's supposed to be my unit saver. I thought that would be pretty cool to mess around with, but uh, now I can't. Um, I'm not exactly fully upset about this whole thing because uh, historically, Looking at the way they've changed things in the game, they usually change things and then there is this uh, balance that they brought along. Uh, whether it be like, hey, you know, we're, we're having six stars come out and people are like, no, we haven't even ranked these five stars yet. And so therefore an announcement for T5B came out and there was an influx of five star shards. And with all those five star shards coming in, people had a chance to get a lot of five star champions. But then the next thing was, hey, we don't have enough gold. We don't have enough materials to rank these up. And I kind of see why that was happening at this point, because you wanted to at least get a bunch of champions in the roster first, and then increase all those materials so that you can make the right choices later. At least that's my opinion on it. And so this is just kind of like one of those things for me. I do want to use my four stars, but I kind of see why they're not going to be in use. I mean, this whole thing reminds me of like, you know, every time they upgrade a technology, you know, like if you had your Disney collection in VHS and then they made DVDs, you're just like, oh my God, this is just like a money grab. Even though the DVDs were better quality and now that they have like Blu-rays of everything coming out, you're like, ah, oh, I gotta get rid of my DVD collection and now I'm going over to Blu-ray. And so, I don't know, it just kind of feels like that to me. Or like when they come out with like a new PlayStation and people still want to kind of hold on to those old games because they bought so many old games and they want that backwards compatibility. I was never really that guy. Uh, I just wanted to play the new game to see what the new games look like on the new system. And uh, you know, that's just uh, different strokes, different folks, man. If that is the case, and this is my hope, I want lots and lots and lots of five star shards, more chances for five star shards, more chances for six star champions. And with that later restriction of having six star only towards, uh, I guess, the later parts of the act, uh, I am excited to see what materials we get in abundance, or at least an increase of, so you can start seeing more rank twos and uh, more rank threes of six stars. Like to me, th the prospect of having a rank three and even rank four six star is much more exciting than keeping my four stars around. Like, like I'm okay with that. Like I want to keep the collection that I created and all of that good stuff. But in that future, I would like to see like the much better, stronger more usable champions. Now, I've touted out a lot about four stars. Uh, rank up your four stars, they're still useful, and they still are useful. It's been useful all the way up this time. I've been saying this for like two years now, and this is the only piece of content that is not using four stars. Everything before it is, and that's including variant, uh, and not only variant, but there are more than one variant coming, which is where I'm kind of seeing this usefulness of the four stars kind of capping out, just kind of in these variant events, the monthly events, uh, and the challenges, boss rushes, all that kind of stuff don't really have that restriction on four stars. Now, one very important thing to keep in mind is that Act 6 is not a timed event. It's permanent content. It's going to be around. Uh, you can try it. If you fail, you can wait rank up your roster, go back in, try it again. Um, I did something similar for the Captain Marvel challenge when it came out, even though that was a timed event. Uh, I didn't, I couldn't do it the first day. I went and practiced a little bit and I kept on going and going and going because I didn't want to spend units and money in order to finish it. Practice, got good, got it done. Uh, variant isn't 100% all the way through. There's just certain parts I don't have the champions for. I've got to rank them up, so I've got to wait, got to go back. Whether I have four stars or not, there was just some stuff I couldn't do. And that's fine. That is part of the progression of the game. And I actually find that more exciting. That's just my opinion. I don't know if it's yours. I don't need to finish every single thing as soon as it comes out in order to enjoy the game. That's just my thing. That's not everybody's thing, but that's just the way I look at the game. Now, in terms of announcements, announcing this a week before putting out Act 6 is wasn't the greatest move in my opinion. Also, the fact that there was nothing else to follow uh, was just kind of like, yo, check it out. We're taking away four stars and boom, that's it. So I understand the frustration. I understand why people are upset. But if we look at something like, let's say, Uncollected. When Uncollected came around, we had the Collector, right? The Collector was a terrible fight. I hate that fight. I'm still very critical of that fight. I think it's I think it's horrible. It's just horrible. It's a, it feels very money grabby, item usage heavy. 
uh, to just get through that thing. And then when we finished it, the people that were doing it first, we got very paltry rewards. We were just kind of like, what is, what is this? What, what, what is this, right? Um, only to follow months and months later, the actual benefit of being uncollected. And then it started to make sense, but that timing didn't make any sense to me. I would have much rather known like, hey, if you beat the collector, not only do you get these paltry rewards, but you also get all these benefits for being uncollected. It makes a little more sense. It feels better in the mental and it's not so frustrating in the end. So we've been through this a few times, you know, 12.0. If people had their way, we would have just rolled it back to 11.0 and everybody would have still doing three parries with, with Thor and then doing their SP3 and then ending things. You know, I think 12.0 actually changed the game a lot to a great benefit. Now, there are a couple of little bugs and things that are still hanging around for 12.0, pure skill, things like that. Diminishing returns, that kind of return not as good as we would want it to. But overall, 12.0 brought in a huge change to the game that made it much more enjoyable. Uh, you know, synergies, new synergies, new interactions with the champions, that kind of thing. But if people had their way, they would have rolled it back. And they would have just wanted, you know, Scarlet Witch back to the way she was and Thor back to the way he was. So I try to take a more objective approach. I try to take a step back and wait and see how this is all going to turn out. That's just the way I do things. You know, I'm not really big on the boycott thing, as you guys know. It's just not my thing. Uh, I like to wait and see. So I do think that some exciting things are coming. I think they're going to put out more things like Nick Fury's Recon or more things like uh, that Captain Marvel event where you have all these new chances to not only get materials, but five star shards and possibly six star shards in the same way that we get five star shards now. Also keep in mind, Ultron's variant isn't the only variant to come around and that is permanent content as will be the rest of the variants. So there are things that I fight about, things like auto evade uh, that I don't like, I still don't like auto evade in its current iteration. Diversity, when they tried to pull it back, I was like, that's not a good idea. I make a bunch of videos called Dev Please for those of you that don't know where I'm constantly sending in feedback to Kabam about things that I want added to the game. Uh, persistent filters is a constant bug of mine. This is just not one of those things that I would want to fight about. I do want my four stars in there, but if I don't get them, I don't feel like I'm going to lose out in the game or that I'm gonna have to spend major amounts of money in order to get to a finish line that doesn't really exist. So that's how I feel about it. Now, if you really, really want your four stars for Act 6 and you really, really want those synergies and you don't really have any faith in getting any kind of new five stars or increasing your five star roster or getting any of that increase in materials and shards and things like that, then by all means, make your voice heard, tweet at them, uh, write on their forums and things like that, uh, band together. But uh, as you can see, when they had the diversity thing, when we all banded together and we said we don't like this and it was very clear we didn't like that, uh, you know, they went back, deliberated, and they turned it back. Now, if that doesn't happen, perhaps maybe, at least I'm going to, trust that there is something really good on the way. So in the end, guys, I'm excited about what is to come with Act 6. Uh, yeah, it's going to be a little hard in the beginning, but I look forward to the extra materials, the extra shards, uh, expanding my six-star roster, uh, and possibly getting my first R3 and just seeing what all that stuff looks like. That's me. I don't know if that's everyone else. Everyone else has a different opinion. Um, I look at these things in this way. Some people will like it. Some people won't. Some people will, I don't know. It can't be any worse than wishing cancer on my baby for, you know, putting an Iceman in the challenge. So, learn a little something. Take a lesson. Learn it all.